It's so atmospheric, isn't it, really? Well, we're at uh, Queensby Baptist Church two days before Christmas for our annual carol service, Carols by Candlelight. So we just finished practicing and uh, people are coming in and we've got about 15 minutes before we've got to be ready to play. Yeah, it's, it's a good evening for a lot of people that maybe uh, don't come that often, maybe just come Christmas and Easter. Uh, so people are bringing their friends along. It's uh, going to be a, a joyous occasion. Me, I'm uh, playing in the band tonight, various instruments. Uh, mainly cornet, a bit of guitar, a bit of penny whistle and a bit of ukulele, strangely enough, at the end. Uh, you've got to have some outlet, so I guess music's my, my outlet for uh, getting, uh, getting rid of all the frustrations of the day and uh, going strumming a guitar or blowing a cornet. So. Good evening. Give you a very warm welcome to this, uh, this evening's carol service, our second of our carol services. I guess uh, Tony Blair's in the news this week for saying, you know, you take your uh, faith into politics and people call you a nutter. Uh, I don't think it's quite so severe in an uh, engineering department, but uh, engineers are generally a bit backwards about talking, them, talking about themselves, particularly about their faith. So, uh. It's something I made a uh, conscious de decision a few years ago, uh, about five years ago. Uh, I was thinking and, and praying about how I could use the time that I have at work to serve God. So rather than just using my sort of evenings and weekends to, to do what I really care about, I wanted to integrate that into my work as an engineer. So uh, that's where all the sort of appropriate technology projects came from. OK, a couple of examples where my faith has made a difference at work. I've been involved with projects with Tear Fund, looking at uh, helping partners around the world in Uganda, uh, Nepal, Bolivia, uh, all, all around the place, working on uh, solutions to problems that uh, affect people who haven't got the sort of luxuries we have, so uh, building bread ovens and appropriate stoves and that sort of thing. You know, some, some uh, kind of American fundamentalists had, had read the Bible very much as uh, telling you about how the world's, how the world's uh, created in a, in a strict scientific way, uh, whereas the majority of Christians would read it in a more sort of poetic uh, thing. So if you're talking about sort of evolution debates, uh, a lot of Christians uh, who are scientists would have no problem with saying that God could use something like evolution to bring about life on Earth. Uh, rather than a literal creation in seven days, you might think of a creation in seven phases. I've not had any, anyone be antagonistic about it at all. Um, People tend to sort of uh, live and let live a bit, uh, I guess, and uh, it's, uh, modern life is more about tolerance and uh, respecting other people's views, and uh, I have to do that as much as everyone else does.